can find a bloody thing. <laughs> hey folks, let's start with a beautiful bird in 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. Oh, look at that gorgeous troupial. Man, I love those birds. But that was not what I was going to talk to you about. Okay, I'll shut up. Got more to say, honey? No? Mm-hmm, okay. Um, let's swivel you around. Look. No more, no more test tiles, empty bench. And um, under there are some emptied crates and boxes. And I cannot find a freaking thing. Uh, let me tell you about it. I'll sit down and talk to you about it. Oh gosh, look at me. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> First day back in the studio, 2023, and I needed to sort again. Where's my camera? Is my camera there or is it there? There. Well, oh, never mind. A uh, little background story about why I was gone a little bit longer than I intended to. Uh, our landlord decided to kick us out, so we were in panic mode, and a friend offered me a part uh, uh, of his shed to use so I could at least continue doing my ceramics. So I had to sort. I had to go down to a quarter of my materials, my, my, my uh, tools and things and such. So I started doing that. And then friends of us told us, what? what? How long have you been living there? No, they can't kick you out. So we went to the, to the proper you know, people that know about that Turns out they can't kick us out. And now everything is sorted in such a weird way <laughs> that I started sorting oof, sorted everything sorting everything back to its original place. I have all oh, empty spaces everywhere. I can't find a bloody thing. <laughs> so I did that for two hours. Uh, I have everything ready at the wheel and I have more than enough tools, really. We all have don't we all have too many tools and these are always the best, you know. But hey, uh, I said to myself, nah, no more. I want to get dirt under my fingers. So uh, I stopped sorting. I'm going to get me some clay or some projects that I have waiting in the jimmy. And, um, well, I'll keep you posted on the house thing and everything. Uh, if anybody is watching that you know might know of a nice place because although we don't have to move officially you know the vibe and energy is not like it was because it always has been very very good with our landlord um so yeah looking to move but you know oh well we'll see what 2023 brings happy new year everybody mine starts with a challenge but i'm up for it Hello there, my pottery friends! Welcome back to the Pottery on Bonaire. It's been a while, I'm sorry. Uh, I took a break, I always do, after the Christmas stress, you know. Uh, recharge, reboot, take some downtime, some me time, sending my muse away on holiday to see if she can come back with some nice new ideas. And she did, so that's a good thing. Also, some shit going on in my private life which is now almost all tackled so that's good but it was a bit stressful uh, in the meantime to you know keep me sane <laughs> i've been in the studio i've been working on some funky funny things and i'll show you i've been doing some sewing and i have even started on a quilt which might never become a quilt because a quilt takes what about a year but <laughs> Uh, all fun, relaxing, rebooting, recharging, and I'm back in 2023. If I haven't said it already, 
wishing you a beautiful new year hope all your dreams come true and um i have only one new year's resolution and it's the same one i've had for years which is i have no new year's resolutions not going that way <laughs> not joining that shit <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay i thought the first video would be nice to do a catch up with you guys things that i've been you know inspired by whatever I'll, I'll tell you and i'll show you what i've been doing sip of coffee as always um i guess i'm not the only one that loves pinterest right and uh, uh a friend of mine sent me a picture of a cat planter well you know if you haven't seen cat planters come by on the internet i don't know where you've been where you've been looking but they are all over the place most of them are made commercially uh, well com uh, by you know factories things like that but there are some really beautiful handmade ones and she loved it and she said oh can you make that and i said you know let's give it a try and um see what i can come up with and this is not fire yet so you cannot see the colors i kept it very abstract as you can tell and just imagine there is some soil in, soil in here and then a cactus for its tail. Isn't that cute? These colors are reds and oranges and light browns. So it's going to be a Tammy cat. Is that a right word, Tammy? I think so. So that's one of the things I did. All coiled. I've been enjoying hand building so much. I've been enjoying the slowness of it. The, I don't know. It's, it's way more at the moment for me anyway calming than throwing at the wheel is and i have been throwing at the wheel but you know if you're not centered yourself throwing at the wheel is not going to work well at least it doesn't for me so i kept on doing some hand building i was also inspired by um uh, again tiffany van hobo creek pottery not because of what she made but because of what i saw on her work table so this one is for me this uh, also all hand built i love the the texture of my thumbprints in there i'm keeping it in there i might even just glaze it transparent and keep it white i'm not sure yet but this is almost dry now and ready to be bisque fired although i have been single firing because of course of the christmas rush <laughs> so i might do that um, you know, the glazing is a bit, um, um, what's the word? You have to be careful because it's not fired yet, but you know, so this, something like this was on Tiffany's, um, workbench and I just, you know, bluntly or I dared to just copy. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but it's for me. So, and then, um, a friend of mine here loves to work with watercolors so I made her oh well, hold on I will put this on there to show you how I dry these might be a handy tip I don't know it's on a flat bed because it needs to dry flat this is how I dry something flat these are bags with a little sand in them made from an old t-shirt and just a rubber band and I just put them on there to keep it flat and I will take them off so you can show you can show I can show you <laughs> what they look like what it looks like Ta -da -da! Um, how am I going to do this without it dropping because you know I'm the clumsiest ceramicist ever can you see no you, can, you probably can't hold on Careful. This is the palette. And this is the cup for the water. It fits there. And I have some um, pieces cut out for the, the brush to sit on, lay on. So those are, well, maybe this one's for me because I sometimes like to paint as well, although, although it might be a bit small. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. 
getting used to all this again. So I'll put these back. And these are done. They can go into my drying rack. I have also been inspired by another artist and I have on Pinterest, there was no name, I couldn't find it. And um, I started out with sort of kind of copying and then on the way, you know, it becomes more something of yourself. I mean, that's the way we learn as a child, we copy. Uh, well, we all know what Picasso said about copying. These are funky birds. Let me show you. They're not done yet. Uh, they are wrapped in plastic in my jimmy, uh, but I took them out for you to show you. These are all birds and they're weird and funky. This is to be a pelican, also hand built, all coiled. And uh, they might get some sprigs and um, they are going to be decorated with slips, of course. Here's my funky, wow, what shall we call you? I don't know, a goose? Yeah, something like that, right? And who knows what else I will attach to them. And here's one that needs to be, um, the shape needs to be altered a little bit more, but that's, well, at least the head is sort of kind of a flamingo. <laughs> I just call them abstract and then everything is fine. So I'm working on those. And then there's one more. I started on another gnome. There we go. This is, uh, well, yesterday, only yesterday, I put on the caterpillar. This one is going to get, is going, going to get some lettering under here. Not sure if it will look good, but you know, huh? and I'm going to Scrafito his, his beautiful hat. And I think I'm going to work on this one and I will take you along with me. And now I will put the other ones away so they, especially the birds, so they don't dry out on me too much. It's still raining on Bonaire, we still are in rain season, but it's not as ridiculous as it was anymore, thank goodness. Um, sun peeps out more often now, so um, that's headed into a little bit more dry weather, which is nice. Uh, what else do I have to say? No, not much, actually. I thought I'd, you know, do a little catch up with you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any ideas, let me know what you want to, what would, you would like to see me do, video, whatever. If you have any ideas or requests, questions. And um, thanks for being there. Thanks for still being there after a little bit of a long uh, hiatus. Is that the right word? Yeah, probably. You know what I mean. So yeah, I'm back. It's good. It's good to be back. It's good to feel the clay. And um, the first video of 2023 is a wrap, as they say. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for being here with me. Bye-bye.